Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, it's been a long time, basically a year since I've filmed, so it feels kind of weird to be sitting down talking to my camera, well to you guys again, but also really good. So I'm excited to get back into uh, making videos consistently. I decided to ask you guys what you wanted to see. Um, on Instagram, most of you responded saying like outfits, fashion, so um, there was a couple of like thrift hauls too. I decided to just mix it all together and do another Styling Sunday episode since I feel like you guys really enjoyed those. I will be showing you um, items that I thrifted recently, obviously before um, the whole quarantine um, happened and I decided to style them into outfits that you could wear at home so basically like comfy outfits that are still cute so basically no jeans nothing uncomfortable but also still kind of cute and stylish um, I find dressing up once in a while and getting out of your sweatpants definitely feels good and I just want to say really quick um, I don't want to talk too much about this but I still feel like it's important to you know share this message that um, it's really important to social distance right now and to stay safe, stop the spreading. I'm doing my part and I really hope that you guys are doing it too. You know, I'm even social distancing from my boyfriend right now since we don't live together. So it's kind of hard, but you have to do what you gotta do. So if we want this to end quickly, do your part and social distance and stay home. Okay, now to get into the haul. Okay, so the first piece I wanted to share is this giant, like super oversized, really warm, cozy knit. Um, obviously what drew me to it is that it's a super old, like vintage Ralph Lauren. I really love the graphic on it. I thought it was super original and I actually wanted to wear this uh, sweater to the airport. Um, since it's so cozy and warm. Yeah, my travel plans got cancelled, so I've just been wearing it around the house. And how I decided to pair this, I got this pair of like elastic waistband trousers like a long time ago and they are my favorite. They are so comfy and they're made short so they're like the perfect length. I wear these all the time, like I seriously, they're so used, I need to buy a new pair. So yeah, just throwing on a pair of like trousers versus like leggings makes you feel like your outfit's more put together, even though it's just as comfy. And I also wanted to keep styling the outfits um, because I do go for walks and if, you know, once quarantine's over, you're gonna wanna wear these outfits outside. So I put together a whole look. I would style this with my docs. Um, honestly, these boots, you know, they're kind of pricey, but I basically wore them every day in the winter. So definitely worth the investment. Seeing as the sweater is so oversized, I needed a huge oversized jacket to wear on top of it. I styled it with my um, oversized wool coat from Aritzia. Um, another piece that's um, more expensive, but when you live in Canada, it's definitely worth investing in jackets. Um, I do not regret purchasing this at all. I absolutely love it and I know it will last me a long time. Everything will be linked down below and for um, things I can't find links for, I'll try to find some similar stuff so you guys could shop if you like it. Um, and then to finish off the look with the accessories, I also thrifted this cute little backpack. It's in mint condition and there's just so many pockets and stuff. It's perfect for traveling. I bought it with the intention of traveling with it. Um, but yeah, since it's like a super casual look, I thought a little black backpack would be cute with it. And then to finish it off, this red beanie. It's super flashy, but it definitely brings out um, the red in the sweater and I thought that was really cute together. So that's my first look. So next I have another cozy sweater. Absolutely love the color palette of this, like the different shades of beige I think look so nice together. Um, I love that it's a mock neck as well. Um, I'm a big fan of turtlenecks so anything that hides the neck a little bit and keeps you warm is good. I think this would look so adorable with a pair of white pants, but the only white pants I have are jeans. So for this um, outfit, I went ahead and paired it with my nice, trusty, comfy black trousers. Um, the same oversized beige jacket, just because, um, you know, the shades just go so perfectly together. 
And then to finish off the look, I decided to go with um, all white accessories just to switch things up a bit. So this pair of white boots from Boohoo. It's a nice um, affordable boot uh, to just kind of make a statement with your outfits. And it also has this cool like zipper detailing in the back. And then this cute little white uh, beanie with a pom-pom from Forever 21. And this bucket bag. Um, it's matte and nut, faux leather. Absolutely love this bag. I got another <laughs> brown beigey sweater sorry my clothes is wrinkled super excited about this sweater because it's actually cashmere and cashmere sweaters are usually upwards of a hundred dollars and this one cost me seven um absolutely love the color of it and it's so cozy and comfy and since it's less oversized it's easy to tuck this one in so that's what i did new pair of trousers for this outfit um also a nice comfy elastic waistband um, these are actually from Zara they're also made short for all you short girls out there I got you <laughs> I just love plaid pants I find it elevates your look once again it's just as comfy as wearing leggings but you look much more put together and since um, I find these kind of have pajama vibes depending on how you style them I thought it would be um, good to throw on like a little heel just to make the outfit look a little less PJ and a little more um, stylish <laughs> for the lack of a better word um, so yeah these little sock boots I actually got them at Hudson's Bay and then to finish it off my favorite denim jacket so it's like a navy color and it has brown stitching so it goes so perfectly with this whole look it just ties it all together also a nice oversized large jacket um, I also thrifted this but they have an online store so I'll link it below as well so this next outfit I actually posted it on my Instagram if you guys follow me um, so this button up first of all this color is like my favorite color uh, it's also like a nice like little suede material kind of I'm not even sure how to describe it um, but yeah, I love how it covers um, my butt so I could technically wear it with leggings if I wanted to So I also went for a pair of plaid pants uh, for this look. These are from Maritzia um, Contrary to the other one, they're not an elastic waistband so a tiny bit less comfy but are still much comfier than jeans let me tell you i just love getting trousers with the belt loops because i belts are i think my favorite accessory and then i paired it with this graphic tee from boohoo um absolutely love this t-shirt i get compliments on it all the time so yeah i also just added a super simple belt um to the outfit to just kind of put the look together as if i was going outside um I styled it with these beautiful um, square toe boots from Maitel Val. Um, absolutely love their shoes. Um, I try to shop there mostly when they're sales. The jacket I'd wear with it um, is just this super long, super simple black duster coat from Zara. So I love that it has pockets. It's super lightweight, perfect to throw on when you have like a lot of layers, um, nice and oversized. And I got this on sale for like $25, I think. Uh, such a steal. I absolutely love this piece. It's just this super cozy, oversized cardigan. And I love the nice crochet detailing on it. Um, I'm always a, like a sucker for something that has like an original or unique aspect to it. I just love cardigans in general. Since it kind of gives off some grandma vibes, I wanted to style it in a way that I guess was cooler, uh, although I'm all about the grandma vibes. Um, so I went with this pair of khaki trousers. They're from Frank and Oak and they kind of give off this like cargo style vibe with the big pockets in the front. Once again, <clears throat> nice and short. So I think on a normal person, all of these pants are cropped, but on me, they're just perfect length. I'm five foot. Um, one and a half so yeah I love finding shorts uh, shorts pants that I don't have to go get hemmed 
They are so comfortable, they fit so well. I actually went and got them in black too, just because I love them so much. So with that, just a simple black tank top. Um, obviously you could get these anywhere, but I really like the ones they have at Zara. They're like seven or nine dollars and nice and comfortable. The material's nice. And threw on a pair of high top Converse. I probably wear this with the same black jacket I just showed you guys from my previous um, outfit. Uh, I find when things are long, like especially like this long cardigan, I like wearing a jacket that's longer. Finished off the look, completed the outfit, the same little belt that I wore. Um, in my last outfit, always, I always wear belts. I love this piece. Uh, it's a nice little snakeskin a button up. I still am obsessed with the print. I find it could either like look super dressed up, like I would wear this out or just really casual depending what you wear it with. Um, I don't know, I find um, the color of it too. It's like a really nice brown. Um, it's like a really nice material too. So uh, I actually uh, plan on wearing this today with my outfit. So with the brown, the dark brown turtleneck that I have on right now. I paired it with these trousers, also from Aritzia, so another elastic waist, super comfortable, um, and these ones are more like of a wide leg trouser, so it, you know, it's a bit different than all the other trousers that I showed you guys. So yeah, these actually come with like a black band as a belt that you could tie into a bow, but that's not really my style, so I always just replace the belt and put on something different. In this case, I went for another belt that I thrifted. I went with a brown belt to kind of go with the whole brown look of the outfit, and I love like the little stud detailing on it. Once again, I paired it with my nice square toe uh, booties. I find since these pants are, are kind of like overwhelming and big on me, it's nice to just go with a simple black boot. To wrap up this video, I wanted to quickly show you guys two more belts that I recently thrifted. So yeah, one of them is like this nice fake croc um, leather and it has like a really cool like vintage looking um, gold buckle. I would say this is a much more like casual belt compared to the other one and would probably look really good with like the cargo style pants that I showed you guys just before um, and I just wanted to also quickly insert like the same outfit with um, the two different belts and two different pairs of shoes and how different the vibe is. So yeah, that was it for my styling Sunday video. Um, like I said, I want to get back into it so please let me know what you want to see in the comments down below. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.